I was born in Benshoop. It's a small village around 45 minutes from Amsterdam. And funnily enough, I still live in Benshoop. I grew up here, in the middle of the nature, with Benshoop Lake and all the farms. It's a quiet place. I like it. I'm quite a normal kid, doing my homework. Playing with my dog Bo is an important time of my day. Helping my parents at home, hanging out with my friends when I'm in town. I do normal stuff, like normal kids. I go to school in a neighbor village. It's a 14 kilometer ride in bike. It trains my legs and it empties my mind. But when I think about it, it's quite fun. Because I can't even drive a road car, but during the weekends, I'm at 220 km per hour on straights. I put my overall, my helmet, my gloves, and I'm a different person. I'm no longer the boy next door. I'm a fighter. I'm a winner. I'm Richard Fersher, Repo Junior Driver in the SP F4 Nash Championship. There was nobody racing in uh, the family, so Richard started on his own. Yeah. How did Richard start motorsport? Um, I buy a go-kart from the internet. Uh, I think that was the only thing that I can do uh, to spend more time with him. Because I have a lot of things uh, on my head, because I have uh, my own factory in Kulemor. So that's why I take a go-kart and go out with him. The quality of Richard, I think, is the overtaking. overtaking. The, the speed and the overtaking. He can do it from uh, uh, a large distance and uh, it always uh, goes right. When he start, Honestly, I, I shake a little bit, <coughs> but if he do the, 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 the first meter, then I think he feel more relaxed, okay. confident in him. I think uh, besides the racing thing, he has nothing. The, the only, only goal what he has is driving a race car. So since I a think kid? Since a kid, is, uh, is he wa want to, want to do, uh, driving he was like uh, like a small he was very small and uh, we buy an electric car for him and he's like it's all always driving uh, always driving so it has yeah. only been motorsport for forever yes. as far as you can remember I don't have a nickname because I think uh, Richard is uh, his name and uh, I don't know a lot of racing drivers with the same name. So I think Richard is fits it's uh, in. I think it's okay. Uh, my name is Jesper Asman. I'm an English teacher at uh, Oosterlich Viana and uh, I'm teaching here in English. So it's my main subject. Okay. Um, we are here so to speak about Richard. Um, is Richard your regular student type? Uh, I wouldn't say so because he's not here a lot. Um, I see him in, uh, in classes regularly, but uh, not always. He's, uh, he's on the road a lot, so um, so that's um, yeah. So that's he's not the regular type, definitely not. Okay, and what can you say about Richard? Is it is he an appreciated kid in the class and in the college in general? Uh, definitely, he's a really nice guy. Everybody uh, yeah gets along with him. Um, He's, a, he's, an, he's an easy person to talk to, uh, he's always very open and honest, so uh, definitely somebody who is appreciated. And, and do you hear often about his races, about his weekends, or is he the low profile type, you know, um, like the shine type? He's not always really the one to say something about it uh, in class or to brag about it, definitely not, but he, uh, he, he wants to tell you something stuff about it if you ask him and uh, you can follow me, him on Instagram and I do so so I follow him and I, I, I talk to him about his races uh, which is really nice and uh, so um, but that's that's how I keep updated with his uh, with how he does and I also react to uh, what he posts sometimes 
and um, and give him feedback on his English. So, so you're fun. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely, yeah. Okay, so um, does the college arrange Richard's schedule to fit with his racing life? Yeah, yeah. When he uh, when he needs to uh, go to a race or uh, start practicing, uh, he always gets the time to go there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so we we do, yeah. And you're an English teacher, so. Uh, which is the main language in motorsport nowadays. Does your class include some specific terms or vocabulary adapted to Richard's needs? Or? Um, yeah, unfortunately not. So uh, it's really up to uh, uh, the input that Richard wants to have. So if he, he asks me, asks me questions about it, I will always give him feedback and, and, and uh, try and teach him, him stuff. Um, one funny thing is that the last couple of years he's been been in Italy a lot, so his uh, pronunciation changed changed a little bit. He's, he, he, he sounds Italian sometimes, so that's what I gave him feedback about. So, uh, but but it's not specific on race terms or okay. whatever. So. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> and is it the first time the college here has a high-level athlete among its students? Uh, there have been uh, high-level athletes at school um, in different uh, different sports. Uh, so we always try to be open to these these kind of uh, students. But um, I think that um, Richard is definitely an example of, of a student who is really talented and one of the higher ones we've had so far. And um, and, and that also, um, you can also see that in the, the amount of time that he spends on doing his, his sport. And uh, yeah, that he's, a, he's, a, he's an exemption if you look at that, okay. if you look at him, so. And if you had to choose one adjective which represent Richard the best, what would it be? Yeah, it's a really hard question because it's really hard to describe him in, in one, uh, in, in, in one word. I, I would say trustworthy, I guess. Um, I mean, and, and passionate so I, I that, those that's are two, two that, yeah I know that's two and I, I'm, I'm still thinking about a third but uh, because uh, he's really passionate about his sports he's, he's really uh, motivated but he's always also a guy that uh, if he misses a class he will always come to you and ask you hey what did I miss what, what can I still do and that, that's really special for him he's so eager to get better at English and also at his racing so uh, he's always open to feedback and um, so I don't know how to make that one adjective, but uh, yeah, that's Richard. Uh, we found uh, Richard on the Dutch uh, karting circuit, uh, where he was competing in the Dutch national championship. Um, and uh, he scouted by our uh, national coach, Marco Dupau. The KNAF helps Richard to build a full-time program as porter, uh, for example, with simulation training, with uh, media training, with uh, physical training, technical training and technical training. So uh, all to, uh, to make him a better driver. For young talents it's very uh, important to go to school, to um, succeed their exams and uh, have also a future after motorsport in a worst case scenario. The KNAF hopes for Richard two things. Uh, the first one is that he succeeds his school exams and the second one is that he books a lot of progression in the championship and uh, yeah, you never know uh, where it ends is, uh, if he scores a lot of podiums this year. Thank you. Bye, see you tomorrow. <laughs>